Alrighty, so here we have Spellforce 3 Reforced being played on the Xbox Series X. Uh, review code courtesy of Evolve PR. And uh, let's, uh, let's take a look here and see how it plays here. So we've got a couple different options. So we've got a uh, campaign. So we've got a solo campaign. You can play the campaign co op. Uh, you can play mercenaries mode. You can do skirmish, so you can do versus, leaderboards, custom, skirmish match. You can do journey. Uh, you've got uh, heroes. You can create a hero to uh, go ahead and use on journey maps. These heroes are persistent and can carry their level, abilities, and equipment across different journey maps. You have campaign. So here you can choose... Um, whether you want to join a uh, session or do a solo. So you can play any of the maps in any order. And a skirmish map is just pretty much a... Uh, just kind of like a um, versus mode, if you will. And again, you can do campaign uh, solo. So if you choose a solo campaign mode, you have uh, Spellforce 3 uh, Bring Blood. This is the main story campaign of Spellforce 3, and you get uh, scenario, you get scenario uh, Old old Halayish, Halayish. This scenario plays before the events of Spellforce 3's main campaign, or then you get purchase Spellforce 3 Soul Harvest, uh, which is two and a half years after the devastating Purity Wars. The Crown calls back a disgraced general to face a mysterious threat. So those are the different... Uh, campaigns you can do. And then on top of that, you have uh, Arena. So you can do a custom Arena uh, uh, arena mode. So you can just, just duel it out. Uh, you've got options. Oh, I played the credits. <laughs> huh. Okay, I was meant to go into options. <laughs> so we've got general options. We've got uh, uh, text, audio, uh, skip intro videos, um, dynamically closed loading screens, uh, highlight and portal dialog choices. You've got uh, user interface options. Yeah, a lot of different options here, actually. You've got controls, camera speed, uh, input mapping, sound. So quite a bit here. Um, from my understanding, this is originally a, uh, a PC game that was ported to console. Um, it's a, it's a, it's an RPG. It's more of like a, I mean, it's, it's an actual RPG, but at the same time, it's kind of a point and click as well. Because in order to move the character, you have to actually move the cursor and then hit the button to make him go there. Kind of like, uh, you know, Warcraft back in the day. Um, or, uh, can't even other games actually do that. Because uh, it's, it's more of a, of a, uh, uh RTS element. Alright, so we'll go ahead and let's get into the actual gameplay here. Now, it does going to play a lot better um, on a uh, Series X, Series S versus an Xbox One. Um, this is Series X S optimized, and you will notice the difference. That's what I'll do. We'll do uh, solo, and we'll do new game. So we got easy, normal, hard, and circle mage. Actually, before we go into that, Let's go ahead and check out mercenaries. I want to show this guy this to you guys as well. Mercenaries are customizable heroes, just like your avatar. Once you have created a mercenary, you can take control of them when joining a friend's co-op campaign or recruit them to help you in your solo adventures. You can create as many custom mercenaries as you want, but keep in mind that you will only be allowed to recruit up to two of them at once. And here I've got two of them I created. Ken Gordon and William Jones. <laughs> Uh, both of them are, uh, one is a, uh, necromancer, and I think the other one, I forgot what the other one is. Uh, so it's kind of cool. Let's go back and do solo campaign, and we're going to do Burning Blood. So, easy, chooses difficulty. If you want to focus purely on the story, the combat difficulty is turned down significantly, and your heroes can be revived more than more often. 
Normal, choose this difficulty if you have little to no experience with the real-time strategy and role-playing game genre and want to experience the story as well as the combat challenges. Hard. Choose this difficulty if you are a seasonal player of the real-time strategy and role-playing game genre. Enemies will fight you relentlessly, and managing your party's equipment and abilities isn't necessary to succeed. Circle Mage. No challenge is too great for you. Try this difficulty. You have to use every advantage possible in order to survive. Optimizing all of your character's abilities and equipment, as well as exploiting each enemy's weakness, is crucial in order to even stand a chance. Not recommended if you're for your first playthrough. You are We're General Sentenza Nori, commander of the Wolf Guard. According to rumor, a group of rebels planning to overthrow the crown has taken refuge in a deserted castle in the wilds of Iskander. Their leader, a mage named Isamo Tahar, is as charismatic as he is radical. At the outpost. They've set it up and are waiting for you to take over and give instructions. The new guy, Private, um... Carpool. Yes, that one. He's in charge right now. Good. I've told you before and I'll tell you again. This mission is important. The man inside that fortress, Isamo Tahar, he's more than just an ordinary lawbreaker. He's a traitor, he's a mage, and he's a murderer. We are the best the royal army has to offer, and the queen put her faith in us. So let's not fail her. Okay, controlling heroes. Hover over the hero and press A to select a single hero. Hold A for a while to create a selection. Circle can control over multiple heroes. Press the right stick button to select all your heroes at once. Go ahead and just select them all. And when I close that prompt, camera, move the camera with the left stick. Move, zoom in out, but moving the right analog stick and rotate the camera. So it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty simple controls. Oh, actually, there's nothing up there. We should go this way. Find some loot, press Y on the loot and either a select single loot objects or press Y. Careful! Wolves up ahead. I'll take a look. Okay, so we'll do Got him, I think. Yeah, kill them all. Okay, I'll go back and get that loot real quick. What a lovely piece of earth this is. Take Easy. all. If you gain an overview of inventory and equipment, press the menu button to an inventory window. You can switch between your item uh, types by pressing A. Quit mind, you can either hover over and press A, or you can press X to open the context menu. Okay, so. Okay, does he not have anything I can equip? Uh, why is there no... Um, okay... Oh. No. So apparently I don't have anything. Okay. Oh no, it was because I was blocking it. Wow. Okay. Uh, we can't equip that on him. Can we? Can we uh, equip this one on him? Yes, we can. Slot one. Okay. All right. Oops. Huh? Okay, we're gonna take all that. Orders? Sure. So overall, I mean the game looks really good. And it plays really, really well too. Commander. Stay alert.
And I like how everything's voice acting. Yeah, you don't really have to read yes, anything. Sir. Good. Then outside of the menus. All the descriptions and stuff. General Noria. It, it's an honor. Private Carpel. Report. How much resistance do we face? Impossible to say, sir. We've captured two of the rebels in the woods, but they wouldn't talk. All we know is that there have been some troubles, troubles within the, um, resistance. That might be to our advantage. Troubles? Yes. The prisoners wouldn't tell us, so we waited for your arrival, as you ordered. As you might know already, Tahar and his mages barricaded themselves in the old fortress. Oh, they we'll need to find a way inside. And that's what we'll do. Anything else? No, sir. Good. Let the workers know I'm in command now. We need to get this camp and our men into shape before we can make a move. Understood. Get over here, men. Yes, you! For those of you who don't know who this is, General Sentenza Noria, spy master of the Queen and commander of the Wolf Guard. He's the one in charge of this opera. Yes, sir! General? Yes. First, we need to. Rebels, we're under attack. Okay. Blazes. Keep it together. We'll show them what it means to take on the crown. Pray tell. For the crown! Charge! Charge! Okay, we got him. If you hit X over an enemy, it'll automatically attack them. all of them, I think. You all right, Gwen? I know how to defend myself, baby brother, but thanks for asking. Quiet. If Tahar knows our location, it won't be long until he'll launch another attack. We should stock up okay. on resources first, and then set up a barrack to arm our men. Capital is the heart of your base. If your enemy succeeds in destroying, you lose the game. Capital Go also allows you to raise the Okay, so I guess it is, it is part of an RTS. Kind of cool. All and right. Wood. And we'll do uh, you can change the number of workers, okay, and Okay, let's do a let's do a Barracks. So yeah, so it's a it's an, it's an RTS <laughs> slash uh, RPG as it states in the description. I thought it was more of a of a uh, more on the RPG side, but that's all right. It's still pretty cool. Okay, and Four okay, the crew unit military. Alright, we'll so go ahead and go to the barracks. And we're gonna recruit some infantry men there. Our provisions are running low. We need more food. Hmm? Okay, can we produce more food? Or... For the Queen! No. Uh, it's just armor and stuff. Okay, so we gotta find out where to get more food. There's wood. Oh, here we go. Charge! There's some food right there. Take them down. We'll take all that. Hmm. Can't we'll take all that. Now we should be able to come down here.
Yep, now we're producing infantrymen. Down this way. Orders. Oh, for the this queen! For the, for the queen! Why did it pause? I wonder if it's because. Oh, because we're out of resources, that's why. Okay, I need more food. But we can't go that way yet. You can go this way though. Oh. Make it quick. Should I kill that pig or whatever it is? Charge for the queen. Get ready. Easy. Ah! For the queen. No, I can't. Mm -hmm. cool if you could do that, but oh well. Oh, oh well. this will be fun. Let's see what's over Get here. Ready. Charge! For the queen! Ah! Take him down. I'm ready. Oh, I see. Okay. It'd be easier to be able to gather your own food, but I understand why he doesn't do that. For the crown! For the queen! Alright, guys, it's been a look at uh, Spellforce 3. Uh, I want to thank you, Evolve PR, again um, for the opportunity, as well as THQ Nordic. This game's definitely worth grabbing if you like games like this. I definitely would encourage you to check it out. And uh, that'll do it. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you for shopping. As always, till next time. Take care and happy gaming.